Welcome to Children's Health and Nutrition. I'm Dr. Hines. Our purpose of this presentation is to discuss the probabilities versus the possibilities for your children's future health and well-being. Are these the probabilities for your child? Childhood obesity, diabetes, ear infections, attention disorders, adverse drug reactions, behavioral or learning disorders, asthma, allergies, vertebral subluxation complex. Childhood obesity, ages 2 to 5, just under 14%, ages 6 to 11, just under 19%, and ages 12 to 19, just over 17%. This means the rates have tripled in the last 30 years. Childhood obesity health risks, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, arthritis, and heart disease. The following are CDC maps of the obesity trends among U.S. adults per year over the last 20 years. Which clearly shows an alarming increase over the past two decades. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder 4.4 million children between the ages 4 to 17 have been diagnosed and 2.5 million are on psychotropic drugs. Adverse Drug Reactions 20,000 Americans die each year from AIDS, but almost 10 times that die each year from medical treatment. Asthma 14 million lost days of school annually third ranking cause of hospitalization in those under 15, $32 billion per year spent treating asthma. Vertebral subluxation complex interferes with the flow of life force, may or may not cause back pain, affects your physiology, decreases your ability to heal and perceive your environment. Children born today will have a shorter life expectancy than their parents if lifestyle trends continue. What's the problem? Poor lifestyle choices and a failing health care system. Lack of physical activity. 25% of U.S. children spend four hours or more in front of a television or computer, and less than 28% of high school students meet recommended activity levels. Other factors include poor dietary choices, high stress, genetics, and a failing health care system. What about the economic impact? 50% of all U.S. bankruptcies are due to excessive medical expenses. $2 trillion per year is spent on health care, and health care spending is expected to rise to $4 trillion by 2015. Starbucks coffee spends more on healthcare costs than they do coffee. And General Motors spends more on healthcare costs than they do steel. What are the possibilities? The solution. Eat well, move well, and think well. Chiropractic's role in wellness releases your life force, frees stuck patterns, integrates past experiences, releases stress, improves physiology, and returns to your body its natural potential to heal itself. As a parent, are you part of the problem or part of the solution? Eat well. You are what you eat. Not true. You are what your body can do with what you eat.
Eat fresh foods, not industrial products. Eat some raw vegetables with every meal. Drink more water. Eat at home or pack homemade lunches. Get the right tools for healthy eating. Food processor, slow cooker, vegetable steamer, juicer, and quality food storage containers. Eat frequent small meals, don't shop hungry, take time to enjoy your meals, and never feel guilty about a food choice. Green light foods, bulk of your diet, vegetables, meat and fish, fruits, water, nuts and seeds. Yellow light foods, eat in moderation, a little is okay but too much can be harmful. Whole grains, juice, and dairy. Red light foods, eat sparingly if at all. Fried foods, caffeine, dried fruits, hydrogenated fat, trans fats, added salt, MSG, artificial sweeteners, food additives and colors, and added sugars. What about supplements? Take a daily quality multivitamin as insurance to make up anything lacking in your diet. Omega-3 fatty acids for cardiovascular health and probiotics for digestive health. Move well. Make physical activity fun and part of family routines. 60 minutes per day. Limit TV or computer time to one to two hours per day of quality programming. Think well. Encourage self-talk. Discourage limiting beliefs. Encourage affirmations and an attitude of gratitude. Probabilities or possibilities? Which do you choose? Thank you for watching, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.